time again. Super Mario Maker 2 viewer levels. Ooh, coffee's a little bit hot this morning. Um, come on in. Give me your levels. I play any and everything. Give me your troll levels. Give me your challenge levels. Give me your easy levels. Come on. Be nice to me. Ooh, that is still too hot. So, as always, we play random unfinished levels until people come in and give me your levels. If you're watching this on YouTube or, you know, somewhere else in, other than the regular places, feel free to leave a level code and I will play it the next time I do viewer levels. So, if you missed out on live, still please leave the viewer level for me and I will still get back to it eventually. All right. Courses. New courses. Let's uh let's get some clears in here. Uncleared, unplayed. Let's give these creators some love. Thank them for making a level and play it, no matter how good or bad it is. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be a car level. Gonna need to move a little bit to the side. Um, I might be able to save this. If I didn't do that poorly. Question is, do I need the car? Can I do this without the car? The answer is yes. I can do this without the car. <laughs> GG. Give them a like. Give them a clear. Start their day off right. Welcome in everyone. I see a few people joining in. Uh, the queue is open, so feel free to put your level in the queue. I'm just doing uncleared levels until I get some levels in the queue. Alright, this is by Pushin. Oh! There's a level, class fold, or class flood. Welcome. Thank you for the level. Let's uh, let's put that one in. See what happens. Uh, there we go. Oh, hi dots. Welcome in as well. Uh, class flood. No worries. How are you doing? Uh, today is a good day so far. It's Thursday. Gotta go to work today, of course, but. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm glad to have a job. I'm thankful for that. All right, next level. G, M, C, W, 1, H, 8, Y, F. Rainbow Koopa jumping. 40 plays, or 40 hearts, 64 plays, 9% clear rate. Let's jump on some Koopas and rainbows. 30 second world record. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Have fun. Let's see what we got here. Terrible jump by me for the start. That that is not the level's fault. That is uh that was all me. All right. There we go. All right, we jumped on Rainbow, we jumped on a Koopa, level complete. Let's see what we got here. Wait for him to go up. Grab the coin. Flame69x, thank you for the level. Welcome in. Welcome in. Nice. How are you doing this morning? Ooh, okay, this one's gonna be a little bit harder. <laughs> um, I don't think that was a part of the difficulty. I, uh... Yeah. Alright, lost a little bit too much momentum, but we can do that. We can do that. There we go. Thank you for the checkpoint. The checkpoint definitely uh, is a big help there. Okay, so the Koopa's going to hit a conveyor belt. So we just have to trust he's going to be there for us. And in we go. And same idea here. Oh, oh, I hit him the wrong way. 
I always forget you gotta hit him on the side to get him to go to the right area. Okay, we can do that. A little bit too... too little there. That's okay, we can do this. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for the levels. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning too, I really appreciate it. Last night was kind of a... a long and hard night. Um, so I grew up in a house where depression and anxiety wasn't really a thing. It was, you know, people... Oh, I messed that up. People aren't depressed, people aren't lazy, it's just... Uh, or people aren't depressed or anxious, it's just laziness. You know, if they just got up and did something, they wouldn't be depressed. They're struggling with it because of their own shortcomings. So as a uh, karmic justice for growing up in such a place that had those thoughts... Now I get to enjoy the benefits of depression and anxiety, and it kind of set in last night, and it made it a hard night. I couldn't sleep. I, uh... Oh, I see how to do that now. Okay. I couldn't sleep, and all I could feel was just, like, sadness over everything, and it's just that whole setting of, like, what's the point? So I'm actually kind of glad to be, be here with everyone this morning. Makes it a little bit, uh... Makes my mornings just a little bit better. Get to hang out with you all. Helps to fight the the urge to do nothing and just sit there and self pity and wallow in it, you know. So thank you all for being here this morning. It does uh does make a difference. Okay, I see that one now. I see how to do that. Always want people to have fun. I feel checkpoints are necessary most of the time. Otherwise, frustration sets in. I agree with that. Uh, especially like on the Kaizo levels. Like I am not good at Kaizo levels, as you can tell by how poorly I am doing here. That. Uh, if it wasn't for checkpoints, I probably wouldn't beat half the levels that I beat, so <laughs> thank you for the checkpoints. <laughs> and there we go! GG! Class Flood, thank you for the level. That was a good level. That was a fun level to start with. Not too hard, not too easy. That was the Goldilocks of levels. You can definitely see how bad I am, though, compared to that 30-second world record. <laughs> All right, next we got Flames level. Uh, let's see. L. P. R. P. R. C. D. S. G. All right, what do we got here? Sky riding. Nine hearts, 13 plays, 3% clear rate. Keep up with your flying partner and try not to get squeezed. Three minute world record. This, uh, this looks scary. <laughs> Boss battle single player by Flame69X. Good luck. I am confident I will need that good luck. Okay. Oh, okay. That guy just jumped off the uh, flying notepad, so... Ooh. Can I get the shelmet? Can I get the shelmet? I got the shelmet. I lost the shelmet. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Ooh. Okay, I got the got the mushroom, lost the mushroom. And now that guy's gonna throw spike balls at me. Okay, we're doing okay. We're we are surviving. Not not well, but we are surviving. If it wasn't for these mushrooms, I would be out already, so thank goodness for the mushrooms. Swaddle's here! Good morning, Swaddle! Oh! Oh, uh, where did that mushroom go? I need that mushroom? Oh! Okay. Okay, so maybe I need to stay closer to the bottom where the mushrooms come, because it seems like that might be... Might be the way to go. I also see those doors at the beginning. Those doors might be a good way to, um... Maybe I can get in one of those doors, sneak in one. Alright. Got the mushroom. Let's 
get that shelm at this time. Oh, lost the shelm. Okay. Actually, maybe up here might be smarter. It seems like they spawn down there, so let's hang out here for a second. Oh, no. Okay. We're doing worse this time, I think. Okay. Mushroom, got it. All right. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, the queue is open, so go ahead and feel free to add any levels you want to add. Um, I will get to them when I get to them, of course. I'll try and play through everyone's level. We've got about an hour left, so uh, we do have still plenty of time to get to everyone's levels. I got a lot of disappointment last night, too. I know we were just talking about depression and anxiety. This has nothing to do with that, but I am super disappointed, so... PlayStation released their um, PlayStation Classics catalog last night, which in itself was already disappointing. Like, it's not a great catalog to start with. Um, like, there's no Twisted Metal, no Jade Cocoon. Not a great catalog. But, so I was like, okay, well, there's a couple games that I want to play. There's Dark Cloud. Uh, if you've never played Dark Cloud, the original Dark Cloud was definitely something else uh, incredible. So I was like, okay, well, I can play Dark Cloud on stream, so that'll that'll alone be worth it. And they have Hotshot Golf, which, if you've never played Hotshot Golf, in my opinion, it is the best golf game ever made. So, um, Hotshot Golf is just an incredible golfing game. So I was like, okay, well, there's a couple games on here that aren't so bad, so even if the service is disappointing, then I'll still get it because I can stream a couple of those and I want to play those, and it'll work out well. So I got the service. And then I found out that they disabled streaming for a majority of the games. So if it's a streamed game, you can't in turn stream it on stream. So 90% of the retro games you won't even be able to play and share with other people because they disabled streaming for it. And I can't imagine why they would do that. Like, I was super excited to play some of those retro games and show them off to people, and kind of relive those, and now, now I can't. I mean, I can still play them, but I can only play them by myself, and part of the idea and fun of it was going to be, like, share it with other people, you know? So, I, I really don't know what they're trying to do with this service, with a poor selection of games, and everything else going on with it. I just, I really don't know what their, what their goal is. Man, that gets really tough with the Boom Boom. I need to find a way to convince him to jump off the edge, or um, maybe maybe I can defeat him. Oh, we're going to try and get him one of these doors. Nope. Okay, next time. If there's a next time, we're going to try Well. <laughs> oh. If you fall down, the doors let you refresh? Interesting. Okay. So falling down isn't the end end, but you don't want to do that still, because you have to restart from there. Okay. Good to know. Okay, grab that. Grab the shelmet. Keep these guys off. Well, that might be a good strategy as well, is keep the guys off of the, the platform by knocking them off with the, the shelmet. That could be a good strategy as well. well. Welcome in, everyone. Feel free to throw the next levels in the queue. Uh, how do you win this level? Very carefully. Not like that. Need to get this guy off his balloon. That is, that is a must, because those balls stay on here, and that is a pain. Oh, yeah. Flame, thank you for the follow. Thank you. All right. We're going to beat this level. We just got to we just got to get the right strategy. So we know we need to hit this guy because his bouncing balls are annoying and he can fly right off. So that's not a problem. Okay. All right, so now we're going to try and... Nope, okay. 
No, I was thinking maybe we could go to one of the later doors, but that doesn't seem to work because all the doors put you back here. Okay. At least we have a power-up. Okay, we need to get this guy... There it goes. Falls off. There we go. We can get the shelmet back. That's not good. Knock those guys down. Trickstay, welcome in, or uh, Triscade, welcome. Been a while since I've seen you. How's it going this morning? Glad to have you back. All right, knock those guys down. We're gonna wait down here for the mushroom. Okay. Let's just hide right down here. How are you doing? It's been a while. You're good? Good to hear. I'm doing okay. We were just talking about last night the the depression and anxiety kind of to settled in last night. So I'm, I'm going to probably struggle with that for the next few days. Uh, luckily, it's not not as severe for me. So typically when I get like some depression and stuff, it only lasts a few days. Rather than I know some people when they get into that hole, it can be months, weeks. Still leading people into the everlasting way? I'd certainly hope so. Um, you suffer from anxiety yourself, luckily not too strong. That is definitely one of those things I never thought I'd say is like, well, I have mental illness, but at least it's not as bad as some people's mental illnesses, because I've seen that anxiety that is too strong. What happens when people have anxiety that is unbearably overwhelming. So I'm very thankful that at least if I have to have anxiety, it's not not so bad. Um, I definitely wish I could make my workplace pay for it, though. Not, not like a, I'm going to make them pay, but like the only reason I think I have my anxiety is because of my work giving me an anxiety disorder through some stress and some things that they did. So, you know, I, I kind of wish that they would own up to, like, hey, we gave you a mental illness, sorry about that, let us pay for your therapy, or let us, uh, you know, make it right for making you have this problem now. Because I I'd originally had no anxiety, and then stuff happened at work that made it uh, present, so it kind of feels like their fault, but I'm, I'm fairly confident I will never get them to agree to that or, you know, pay for it. <laughs> and the medical insurance they give us is completely awful. Like, medical insurance... I know some people have good medical insurance, and when, like, your work covers it, that's that can be great. But, like, my medical insurance makes no sense. I pay $300 a month or so in medical insurance... Which isn't the worst. I, I know that some people have worse that, but I pay $300, $400 a month in medical insurance. And the only reason I have that at this point is so that if I spend more than, like, $15,000 in a year, they'll cover anything. So when I had my major surgery, you know, that was uh, $50,000 at the hospital and another ten or $20,000 in specialists. So they covered that. But basically... The first $15,000 I have to cover myself. So unless I'm having major surgery every year, all I'm doing is throwing money down a hole because, like, if I want to go to a doctor, it's $500 to go see my doctor. It's $200 just to see my specialist. So, like, I did a video call with my doctor because I thought I was having uh, some heart attack issues. Turned out to be maybe, maybe I'm having some gallbladder issues. But, like... That video call was five minutes. Five minute video call where I was just like, hey, this is the symptoms. He said, yep, that happens. Life sucks. You're old. Great. Thank you. Sent me a bill for $300 for a five minute video call where he didn't even diagnose anything. He's just like, yep, life sucks. You're old. Get used to it. Like, why was that $300? Why do I pay for insurance if, if that's all it's going to do for me? I don't need insurance for someone to tell me life sucks. You're old. Like, I can go online and get that from the teenager subreddit, like... Okay. So sometimes it feels pointless to even pay for insurance, because, like, 
It helped me once when I had to have major surgery, which was great. I'm thankful for that because there's no way I could have paid for my $50,000 hospital bill and my $20,000 worth of specialists and all that. But outside of that, $400 a month for nothing else seems a little garbage. Oh, they also cover uh, my blood pressure medication, which is approximately $17 every three months. So, you know, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's $80 or so here to see a doctor and you get reimbursed by the government uh, via Medicare. Medicare in this country is freaking crazy. I know that there is some Medicaid Medicare that actually is good for people and I wish... I know that everyone's like, no, you can't have socialized healthcare for everyone because that's socialism, but I kind of wish we had that because I would much rather accept... Even if I had to pay a little bit more in taxes, which I know isn't even true because there's a whole bunch of stuff to it, the more I paid in taxes would not equal the $400 that I'm paying in insurance a month that does nothing for me. <clears throat> the medical medical insurance is just a scam all around, basically, at this point. Like, they deny everything they can, you still have to pay for things out of pocket, and you're just paying a huge, extreme cost every single month. Like, car insurance kind of feels that way, too. Like... You're required by law to have it, but they can charge whatever they want for it. Like, that, that seems unfair. No, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I have car insurance. I'm glad people have car insurance because of accidents and other things, but um, it just seems strange to me that they can say, you're required to have this, but someone else gets to set the cost and tell you how much you have to pay for this required service. You know, if, if it's required to have, shouldn't somebody regulating it, keeping an eye on it, you know, making sure that it's fair. That kind of goes for the gas prices in this country right now, too. Like, th there's no doubt about it. Gas is required. People can't not go to work. There's lots of places that don't have public transit to help you get to places. Like, because of our infrastructure, you can safely say people need to be able to drive. So if gas is a necessity, not a luxury, why is it uncapped where just anyone can charge whatever they want for it? Like, that seems wrong. It seems wrong that I can go to the gas station. Like, literally, when we were out shopping yesterday, one gas station was almost a dollar fifty more expensive than the other gas station that was just down the street. Like, how can there be such a discrepancy in in the the gas stations? And if you can't afford to drive down there, you don't know what's there. Why should you? get gouged for more for a necessary necessary item in australia they have it it's amazing you can have private health care uh that you pay for on the side if you want to but it's less than 200 dollars. if you don't need it you don't want it or if you don't uh you don't want it, you don't need it that would be nice i i certainly have changed my mind on that because as a kid you know i was i was a super right-wing republican kid socialism bad get your private health care uh and i certainly I certainly learned all my lessons on those, so uh, I will gladly take the socialized health care. And I, I'm not a big fan of asking for more government, because I've seen how terrible our government is, but they definitely need to step in on things like gas right now and say, you know what, maybe charging $6 a, gas, a gallon is price gouging, and the oil barons don't need to make $100 billion this year. Maybe they can live with only $1 billion of profit instead of $100 billion of profit and, you know, give some people a break. Because on top of inflation, which is already giving everyone basically, uh, what's the difference of a pay cut this year? Because nothing's keeping up with the cost of living. Now we're going to be paying $5,000 more a year in gas. Like, that's just another pay cut. And then you raise rent on top of that, like... All you're getting is pay cuts. At a certain point, basically, I know some people are already there, and thank God that I'm not there, but at a certain point, it turns into, okay. well, uh, you go to work to to live, and that's it. You, you go work 80 hours across your two or three jobs, because if you don't, you'll starve to death. And that that shouldn't be. That, that, that should not be how the world is. And that's why I'm struggling so much with, like, I've been talking about with a few of you guys, I know you, though, those who have been sticking around, like, I've been talking about wanting to start my business really bad, and I want to do that photography thing, but, you know, it's going to be 
three to five thousand dollars, which isn't a lot of money. In the grand scheme of things, three to five thousand dollars isn't a lot of money. But how can I justify spending that money when all we're getting is pay cuts and all these people are suffering? And like last night, we we ended up going to the free fridges around here and stocking them up. We went um, uh, grocery shopping, so we had a little bit of extra money. So we bought um, I bought a bunch of hot dogs and. Emmy bought a uh, Costco chicken to put in the free fridge so people could have some food. And the free fridges were barren. The the food, well, I almost called it the food library, the, the food pantries had no food in them. So literally people are starving. So how can I justify spending $5,000 on a fancy camera to do a business that, if I'm being honest with myself, is more for fun because that's all it is right now is a hobby that's made me a couple hundred dollars on the side. Like... But then there's also, um, in Catholicism, it's called, uh, scroop, scroop, scroopio, scroop, scrupulous, scrupulosity, where it's like you can't, once you start with that line of thinking, there's no end to it. You say, okay, well, how can I justify having something good while other people are suffering? Well, then that never ends, right? There's always going to be someone who doesn't have, there's always going to be someone suffering. So if you start saying, okay, well, I can't buy... I can't buy myself a treat because other people have a need, then it just becomes this extremist thing where it's like, well, I can own nothing. Why Why should I own clothing? There are people out there who don't own clothing, so how dare I spend money on clothing for myself when there's other people who don't have clothing? So it's a very toxic way of thinking, but it's also it's also a healthy way of thinking, I think. like I, I get, again, it, it's a bad way of thinking, but it's also good to sometimes remind ourselves that we don't need the latest thing because there are other needs in our community that we could take care of. And it's it's balancing those two needs is is very difficult for me. Blessings that you can pay for to others so you've got it. Well, that's why I talk about my job. Like, I despise my job. I, I struggle with my job every day. Everyone who's been here for a while is known for, like, the last six or seven months I've been trying to find a job. I've been denied my dream jobs. Like, job it's been frustrating trying to find a job but at the same time i have a job that pays all of my bills that is taking care of me that i didn't lose during the pandemic like that's that's a huge blessing that's more than a lot of people have a ton of people lost their jobs during covid and struggled to have pay during you know the pandemic so even if i don't like the job it's done all these things for me so i have to appreciate that at least i have that security and those other things that's done for me right like so again, it goes back to counting those blessings, but also knowing, like, the job is not healthy for me. I do need another job. I do need to get out of it eventually, but I also have to count my blessings that a lot of people would have would have been very blessed to have what I had during the pandemic. So I, I can't take that for granted either. Because I know a lot of people suffered during the pandemic with losing jobs and food insecurity and watching family members struggle and so it, it's hard to hard to complain about it when i put it in that, those terms you know like oh i kept my job i never fell behind on my house payments i have a house payment rather than rent like are things really so bad and that also goes into i know i'm just ranting about this at this point so sorry i'm gonna rant and rant and rant but like I, I know mental illness doesn't work this way so don't quote me on this but sometimes it's hard to to justify being depressed sometimes it's hard to justify being sad because like well what do i really have to be sad about like oh i have a home i have a loving wife i have a job that pays well i have hobbies like what do i have to be depressed about like I, i'm not i'm not bad off enough to be depressed i know that's not how depression works i understand that that's a hundred percent wrong but it's hard not to feel that way right because you look at it it's like okay how could i possibly be depressed when i have all this going for me I know there's a lot of people who would be very happy to have the stability and everything else that I have in my life. You know, just having a loving wife, a loving partner is is more than some people have. And I, I, I definitely feel for those people because there is something special about having marriage in your life, having that partner for you, you know? Antho, welcome in. Antho6343, welcome in. There are no levels in queue, so if you've got a level for me, go ahead and throw it in. We're just... We're just rambling on about depression and anxiety and COVID and medical costs and everything else today. So feel free to join in on the conversation if you got any feelings about any of those, too. Thank you for the level. I'll hop over to it in just a second, I think. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this level. We're, 
We're trying, but I might not be able to beat this level. Oh, well, I fell. All right, so let's explore this. So how close was I? I that was the end right there. That was the end. I was literally like one jump away from the end. All right, let's give this one more go. We were so close to the end. I got some other levels in queue now, so I'll pop over those. But let's give this one more honest shot here, because I was really close. All right, let's hop on to the next levels. Thank you so much for this. Uh, thank you so much for this level. I like it. Not good enough to beat it, but we might have to come back and beat it. Let's hop on to the next level. Uh, scream to me. I've been listening the last five minutes pretty deep in what you were saying, but I feel it. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be that... Um, I don't want to be that guy who just sits here and rants and rants and rants and rants and all that, but uh, there's a lot to rant about in the world, you know? There's there's so many issues and not a lot being done about it that sometimes it feels good just to get it off your chest. And sometimes I feel that's just what streaming is, is ranting to you guys about all of my problems. So I appreciate you being here and listening to it. The part about hating your job, trust me, I know that feeling. Uh, the escape room, we've got... 4% clear rate, 21 second world record, puzzle solving. It's a dangerous escape. There are pictures for you to help you finish it. Let's check it out. Edgar's here. Thank you for the level, Edgar. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. I know a lot of people feel that and hate their job, and, and why wouldn't you? If you're if you're only at your job to stay alive and pay your bills, like, why wouldn't you hate your job? Why would you appreciate that if, if all it is is a means to keep yourself fed and clothed, right? All right, so this is an escape room. So we've got to figure figure things out. We've got a muncher. We've got flames. We've got to get through that door. I think I can slide under that, so maybe that's how we'll start this. I work in a supermarket, and it sucks. Okay, that was good. I, I agree. My first job ever was working at a grocery store, and... I, I don't think there was anything redeeming about that uh, job, to be honest. Uh, how's it going? It's it's going okay. We've uh, we've been talking a lot about depression, anxiety, and medical costs and all that this morning. So can't say I don't have any complaints, but you know, we're making it. We're living. So that's a hint of some sort. There's two clouds and a vine. So let's jump down here. There's a door, two clouds, and a vine. You've been in the same store for 17 years. You know, I I don't know the response to that. I don't know if I say I'm sorry for that, because I, I know if you don't like that job, being there for that long is bad, but also I know that, like, some people like to be in the same position for a long time, you know? It's not... Mm, I don't think I did that right. I think we need to take the pal with us. Like, um... My aunt did that, you know, she was happy being a, uh, a lead cashier at Safeway, and that's, that's what she did. And there's nothing wrong with it. I know that there's this whole idea in America, and that you have to, like, oh, you only have value if you have a good job, so, you know, if you work in fast food, that's, that's for kids only. You gotta have ambition, you, you wanna be, you know, a manager, or middle management, or something like that. You don't, you don't wanna just be a... Uh, fast food worker, but if that's if that's what you enjoy, then what's the what's the issue with it, you know? Okay, I think that's what I do. I jump down, bounce off the bullet with the pow, and then uh, land over here. So I think that's how we do that. Been too lazy to find something you're happy with. Well, even if even if you were looking for something that you're happy with, there's no guarantee you would find it, right? Like I've applied for hundreds of jobs lately. And uh, I haven't even gotten an interview for a single one, right? So, unfortunately, just applying isn't enough, you know? You like my shirt? It's very colorful. It is Pac-Man, if you can see. Uh, it's all Pac-Man dots and all that. So, I love this shirt. Very comfortable. One of my favorites. Oh, well, that was dumb of me. <laughs> I didn't even look at that. You're so right with the whole COVID thing, you need to cherish a job right now. I mean, 100%, 100%. And unfortunately, workplaces are taking advantage of that, right? Like, all these places are paying almost no wages and basically relying on the fact that people 
have to have a job and have to feed their families as an excuse for, well, you gotta work, so you better, better get to it, you know? Okay, so we need to get this pattern down. So there's that. Then those ones. Then I don't go immediately. I don't know if I can get through this. I think if I run right as it's dying, I think maybe I can make that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or I'll just run right into that piranha plant. So it's... Uh, everything in life is a difficult balance. Like, that's what you'll hear me say the most, is just everything's a difficult balance, right? Because it's like, cherishing a job because it helps me feed my family and I have it during COVID is definitely a blessing, but also, like... That doesn't mean I have to appreciate their abusive practices or them asking me to break my back for $7 an hour, you know? Like, it's a difficult balance between the two. Okay. Just a little bit too soon. A little bit too soon. I'm in college and I still don't know what I want to do for a career. I don't think... I don't think that will ever change... Uh, until you, once you know, you know, right? Like, I, I had my life all planned out. I was a weird kid. When I was in the fourth grade, I already knew what I wanted in life. I, I knew that I wanted to be married. I knew that I wanted to have kids. I knew that I wanted to be a business owner. I wanted to be a CEO. Like, I, I knew exactly what I wanted out of life. And then when I turned 18, I was like, I can't afford to go to college, so... Okay, uh, I can't get... There's a gate there. I can't get through there. So, I was like, okay, I can't afford to go to college, so I will just find a job, and I'll figure it out. So I started working for a bank, and now I'm here years later, and I still, still like, well, I don't know... I don't really know what I want to do with my life, because... All I've ever do, done is work for the bank, and then I found photography. I was like, oh, this is it. This is what I want to do with my life. I want to be a photographer. Like, I would have never guessed in a million years that that's what I want to do with my life. So when you find it, you'll know what you want to do with your life. But, I mean, unfortunately, that's a luxury, right? Getting to do what you want to do for a living has become a luxury in, in our world. Uh, my boy Weez, thank you for the level. Welcome in, welcome in. So, unfortunately, there's a lot of people who will never get to experience those things, right? You... Sometimes it's more about, well, I gotta do what I gotta do than it is anything else. Okay, so I think I need to get through that door. So I need to find some way to get the POW over there. Can I duck with a POW? Photography sounds fun. Photography is a blast. I would have never in a million years thought I would have been a photographer or that photography would be fun, but um, it is. I, I enjoy photography so much. Um, and I wish I could do it for a living. Like I said, I want to start a business on it, but I can't justify it with, like, with how little money I've made, so I'm going to relaunch my storefront here soon, and I'm going to try and honestly sell some prints and sell some other stuff. And if the sales go well, then... I will... Ah, oh, darn it. If I, the sales do well, then I think I will open up the business. I have to give it an honest shot to actually try and sell things, because I kind of just been... I have a few things for sale on my website, but I haven't ever gotten, like, any questions about it. I haven't actually sold anything, like... But a par that's my fault for not marketing, not trying, so... Excuse me. I think... I think if I give it an honest shot and it passes, then sure, I can start the business. If I give it an honest shot, build a storefront, try and sell things, I market it, and I still fail, well then, maybe it's just meant to be a hobby and it will never be a job, you know? I'm in the same boat with my job. 11 years with a retail hardware giant. Passion is music. Would love to change my career to something that involves working for yourself. Especially if it's music, but, I mean, music... I know music is one of those really hard things to break into, right? Everyone wants to be... Everyone wants to be a rock star, but there's only so many you know, rock star positions in the world, so definitely understand that. But I know there's a whole lot more to music than just rock stars, right? There's music producers, and there's the sound synthesizers, and there's, there's all that. 
it's almost who you know rather than talent. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. That's uh, unfair industry, as many are. You know, it's not just unique to the music industry, but I know the music industry has it just as bad as everyone else. Where that is definitely an issue. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You're doing background music uh, for a streamer's Be Right Back video? Really? That's excellent. That is really cool. The, do you get to do, like, the whole song? Like, you're doing, like, a composing a whole, a whole song for it? All right, let's do this. I figured it out. Now I just got to do it without dying. It's just a one-minute song that will loop. That's still, that's pretty cool. Ah, that ice, man, that ice. How much, uh, how much do you charge for something like that? What does it cost to do, a, like, a one-minute song loop? Jiraiya is here! Jiraiya, welcome in, welcome in. Emmy was just asking about you, Jiraiya, asking how you were doing. We know things have been a little bit rough, but we're glad to have you here. Things... Things looking up a little bit? Um, this has been, like, the depression stream, I guess. A lot of people have been voicing their their grievances and problems with the world now, so if things still aren't going well, feel free to, uh, to voice those as well, because that just kind of seems like the kind of day it's going to be. Alright, we got this, we got this. You're doing it for free to build a portfolio? Gotta build that portfolio. I get that as a photographer, too. Gotta have the portfolio. All right, what did we find here? There's a pipe in the... There's a... Oh, I see the pipe. Okay, there's a pipe under the... In here. And there's a P-switch behind the cannon. You know this level? A P-switch behind the cannon? How the heck do you do that? Do you have a uh, portfolio already, Triscade? Like, do you have any songs, examples of songs you've made? How do I hit the P-switch behind the can? Do I just throw the POW at it? Alright. No, that was wrong. How do I get the P switch behind the pa or behind the the cannon? Any ideas? Maybe no. Can't put that behind there. I would have to block it before it spawns in, but I don't think I have that opportunity. I'm open to suggestions. Does anyone anyone have a hint, an idea, something? Not really. You've forgotten a lot of what you wrote when you were younger, so it's just songs from your old band. Oh, that's cool. You had a band? Faith, trust, and pixie dust. <laughs> hmm. P switch behind the cannon. The POW doesn't do it, so it's not that. There's a spike right there, but I don't think I'm supposed to run into the spike. I'm pretty sure that's just going to kill me, so probably not that. Um, hmm. No clue your padded puzzle levels. I do remember this level, but not how it's uh, beaten. Dexter's here! Good morning, Dexter! Welcome in, welcome in! Hmm... Okay, let's go up here. Let's... <laughs> let's fail miserably. I feel like we could do this. I feel like we're close. We're just missing... 
missing one key to this puzzle, I feel like. Alright, take that down. Take these guys out. Is it right here? Is there a... No. Nothing there. Hmm. I wonder if this is a twice twice. Do you think maybe... I don't, I'm bad at that. Oh, that was bad. Do you think maybe if I go through those doors, it'll put me into a room that looks the exact same, but then I can actually go through that door on the bottom, like as a twice-twice thing? That might be it. Edgar, I remember when you had like 14 followers, we've come a long way. We definitely have come a long way since then. We're, we're almost to 100 followers. I mean, I'm definitely no... By no means am I a big streamer or a partner or anything like that, but the community has definitely grown. Scream to me, thank you for the follow. Speaking of followers, thank you for that. Uh, but I, I definitely appreciate the people that I have, you know? Um, I, I never want to become so big that... That, uh, you know, I, I can't talk with people, that I can't enjoy the community that I have, so... I appreciate what I have, and it's not lost on me when I have, you know, even right now it says 10 people are watching. 10 people is a lot of people to be sitting in here watching, you know? So that's not lost on me. So we go down that pipe. So I wonder if that pipe is... takes us to a twice-twice room. Alright, so if we go through here... It says that there's a P-switch behind the cannon, but what if what if I can now go through that door on the right and the P-switch is a red herring? I wonder if I wonder if that's how we beat this level. I wonder if this is just all fake. <laughs> I will never forget about y'all. Um, never forget about y'all. I watch with streamers with two to three thousand viewers, and the chat's quite insane. I definitely know that people do like slow mode for those sort of things, but with slow mode on, I wouldn't be able to chat with all of you like this, you know. So like, is slow mode worth it? It doesn't feel like it. Oh, too soon. Too soon. But also, there's no no other way, right? When your chat is that fast, there's there's no other way to do it. Um, but I also don't like. I don't feel like I should have made that jump. That was a interesting jump. Like, I know that big streamers, because again, their their chat is very 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 huge. So I understand it's too fast, but also like the only way to get noticed by your favorite streamer is to pay them money to donate to the text-to-speech, like Bubble just did with the text-to-speech there. Like, I don't necessarily know that I like that. It feels... I don't know, there's a lot of things that feel predatory when people are asking for money. Like, there's that guy who does the, the sleeping stream where he tries to sleep and the people can pay money, and if they pay that money they can um, wake him up, like, with loud noises or scary things, uh, like bubbles and lights and all that. And, like, I get that it's funny, but how many of those people donating money are kids who don't know any better, who think it's just, like, a funny thing to do to somebody, but don't understand, you know, that they're they're giving away their parents' money for, for something like that? You know, it feels borderline scumbaggy to take advantage of kids like that. And I, I really, really dislike a lot of the YouTubers and stuff who do kids-only content who prey on children to to give them money. Like, there's something, something very icky about that that I just don't... that doesn't vibe with me. Um, so, I, I don't mind having, you know, if there's someone younger in my chat. I know I have a few younger people in my chat. Someone's one of those people who who is younger, but... I, I try not to advertise as like, oh, 
you know, the younger crowd come in here and watch me scream and yell and give me money. It just, it feels strange, you know? Dappity! Welcome to Dappity! Alright, I'm not able to beat this level. And I've got a bunch of levels in queue, so let's, uh, let's move on to the next level. That was a fun level, though. Thank you so much for that level, Antho. Oh. What else can I make this thing say? Hey, it pronounced that word pretty good. <laughs> I forgot to like this level, so let's go back in, give it a like, and let's jump over to the next level, which is by Triscade. Uh, zero L L seven V S two Y F. You can't hear the text to speech very well. Uh, Baby Bowers, Bowser's birthday bash crash. Mario doesn't get a day off, so now Bowser Jr. Um, <coughs> you know, um, no, I, I think the, the text to speech and I think like the audio sound when it does like the, oh yeah, I think those are a little bit too quiet. I need to find a way to raise up the sound on those. I don't quite know how, but I do think I need to raise it up. So thank you for reminding me. I need to play with that um, once I'm done here. Um, so thank you. I will do that. But you are right. I think it's just quiet. Like that one. The, the the sound, I think, are a little bit too quiet. I don't think people can hear those super well. I don't know. Can you guys hear those? <laughs> I do love those. All right. We got, a, we got a bunch of things to stomp on here. Well, we are not making fast progress. I really want to make that character something someday. So I came up with those voices. Well, I you know that obviously they're a spoof on like Macho Man Randy Savage, but I really wanted to do those voices for um, a character I made up called Lucha Lobo, who is a uh, luchador werewolf. I thought that would be hilarious fun. So someday I want to bring that character to life, whether it be a D and D character, whether it be a comic book, whether it just be a story, I really want uh, Lucha Lobo to be a thing. Uh, Edgar I Baylor heard those. Yeah, I need to find a way to up the volume on those one hundred percent. Um, did I go the wrong way? Did I go the right way? What do we got here? Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. This is pretty tough. Oh, man. I clipped, clipped my booty on that one. But uh, Lucha Lobo is my favorite character I've ever made up, I think, for, for things like that. Outside of the book my wife and I are writing, there's a couple characters in that book that obviously I'm... Uh, in love with. Uh, my game volume is too quiet as well. Man, I'm having all sorts of problems this morning, aren't I? But uh, outside of the book, which I think Emmy said we're going to hit 70,000 words on the book this week, so not quite a full book, but definitely getting into that novel length. Um... I'm so excited for when you guys can finally read that book. It's too quiet compared to my voice. I think I just have the decibels too low on those ones. I'll have to bump them up just a little bit. Um, definitely something. In fact, I might be able to adjust that with y'all listening since I have since I have wonderful listeners. Uh, let's get this key. Oh, no, 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 don't. There we go. Okay, so if I go over here. Your baby just woke up. It's 9.30. Today's going to be a weird day for naps. Yeah, that uh, that definitely sounds like it. Oh, there's a boo. Okay, so if I go over here and bump up... Okay, I bumped up the game volume a little bit here. How How is that? Did that make any difference? Can you guys hear that any better? I'll jump around a little bit so you can hear the springing. 
Is that still too quiet or is that perfect? It's a bit better. Okay, so this takes me back to where I was. So let's uh, let's bump that up just a little bit more, a little bit. Uh... Okay, bump that up. Okay. Okay. And how about now? I bumped it up again. It should be a little bit better. Maybe perfect. Okay, I gotta make it all the way to that pipe. Okay, so that's a good volume for that. Can you try triggering the sound? Now, I tried turning up the uh, sounds as well, so tell me if the, the other ones are better. It has an echo? Interesting. Okay, let me try... Does that fix the echo? Okay. That fixes the echo. So that's, that's, that's half of streaming right there, is you fix one problem and then another problem starts. <laughs> so it's, it's loud enough now, there's no echo. Uh, can I hear the game audio now? No, I cannot. <laughs> okay, cause was the text-to-speech any better that time? Did any of that change? Alright, what do we got here? We got on-off switches. Um, do we have to do a... There we go. A little bit of a tough jump. Nothing too bad there. I'd rather you hear the music and level and have echo. I can adjust. I can still adjust things here a little bit. I might be able to do both. Like, I can hear the music now. Bump the text-to-speech by 100%. Okay, what is governing the text-to-speech? Um, hmm. That is a tough jump with the ice. Really tough jump. You didn't hear the text-to-speech at all. Okay. There we go. Now we go through here, and it resets, and I have... This. Okay. So I need a key. So one of these guys probably has a key? Hopefully. Well, hopefully it wasn't the pink one, because I just lost it. I'll have to figure out what's governing the text-to-speech uh, and the audio things if you guys can't hear it. Come on. Up here. There we go. We can make this jump. I guess I just need to jump up here, maybe. Yeah, okay. This is a tough... I, I got the first... Actually, let me reset this. So we know... We know it's not in these guys, so... Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Use the reset door to get these guys back. Uh, Golden Eagle, thank you for the level. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay. Destroy that guy. Randomly get hit there. <laughs> um, I am going to run out of time today for levels, so we might have to carry this into... Um... Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, can you still hear the game audio now? Or is the game audio completely silenced at this point? Are trells loud? What is... 
What is a trell? I don't think I'm familiar with that term. Okay, you can hear the game audio. Oh, a troll levels. Yes, troll levels are allowed. But I've only got about 10 or 15 more minutes, so I probably won't have time. I won't have... There's so many levels in queue right now that I'm going to have to continue tomorrow. So, I, I mean, you can throw it in, but I won't be able to get to it until tomorrow. Okay, try the text-to-speech or the um, other one now. I bet it will work much better now. Oh, that's not good. Edgar E says hey. Oh, wow, well, that was Oh nice. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Golden Eagle. Hopefully you can hear those a little bit better now. Bubble underscore butt says my chickens are very cute and I like to eat them. <laughs> can you all hear those? Is that is that better? You heard it. Excellent. You can hear the game. You can hear that. I think I might have fixed it this time around. Golden Eagle 603 says my name is Gay Guy. Excellent. I'm glad... I'm glad that's working for all y'all, so we we fixed the stream audio issues for one more one more day and then and then all the audio issues will be back tomorrow. But I'm glad you can enjoy the Lucha Lobo voice, because like I was talking about, I love that character. Um I even did that for a whole uh, on my podcast, my My Hero Academia podcast. There was a guy who did that, so that was like the introduction to the podcast. Was just like, "Oh yeah, you're listening to Lucha Lobo." Golden Eagle six hundred and three okay. says, "Eat a banana, banana, banana." JK, Can, oh, the thump, not I like forgot this, those guys pop like back up. Kappa resident sleeper. All right. I don't think we're going to beat this level. Triskade says try throw the pink one over to the other two. Might be easier. Try to throw the pink one over to the over... Uh, that, that might be easier. You are correct on that. Let's give it a try. Golden Eagle 603 <laughs> says banana na 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 I'm glad you all can hear the text-to-speech now. <laughs> Here we go. So let's try and throw the pink one over, rather than what we've been doing. Oh, okay, we messed that up. Well, that actually might help us. That helps us a lot, actually. I... I don't think that's how that was supposed to work, but, um... I guess I... I guess that works. That was, um... I couldn't recreate that if I tried. That is a pro move that I uh I am not capable of making. So uh GG <laughs> I don't know how I managed that one. <laughs> Bubble underscore butt says ha 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 is this the the birthday cake? We got the birthday cake. Golden Eagle six hundred and three says last one. E I. Oh, that's not good. Dinner and cut my dog for free. Meet baby. Let's go. That is amazing. Subscribe to Puja P E E. Edgar E E says he blew up from his own bomb. <laughs> I'm glad y'all enjoy that. It was originally there for when I streamed VR, but lately. Oh, oh no! It said to wait, and I didn't wait. Oh man, so close. Okay, we can beat this level still. Golden Eagle six hundred and three says oh. VFD. Ah. Dave Ardage video. Man, J nine light. We can do this. J the nine lias. The eight tire. Twire thirty eight. J phi eight true. V eighteen. But I ended up not streaming the um the VR stuff. I thought that would make a better series as not so. Let's hold still. Oh. 
Oh, it's playing happy birthday music. That was a great level. Thank you for that. Edgar E says GG. Took me ten minutes, but we did it. <laughs> All right, next level popped up from Flame. Flame doesn't appear to be Bob here right now. But says this is how I will be spending my 7K plus channel points. We got Edgar here. 3, 6, F, G, H, 9, S, P, F. Thanks for hanging out, Triscate. I'm glad to have had you here. If you gotta go, I completely understand. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Today is Tupac's birthday. Golden Eagle 603 says Kappa 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 It is 645. Which means that it is prayer time. So since we have a whole bunch of new people here. Uh, I figure I should explain it a little bit. Every day as a group at 6.45, we pray as a stream. Excuse me. It originally started as a thing for Lent, but it has kind of kept on as a tradition. People really enjoyed it. So if you're new here, it's definitely something you're welcome to join in with. If you're not comfortable with it or don't or want to, definitely don't feel forced to. We're going to do it, and then we're going to jump back to the gameplay as soon as we can. So here we go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is for heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this blessed day. Thank you for all that you do for me and my family. Lord, we pray for those who are currently in Ukraine and Russia. Lord, bring about an end to the war. Bring about an end to the suffering. Lord, through growing closer to you, help us bring peace on earth. Lord, we pray for those who are currently homeless. Help to bring them food, water, shelter. Help us as the, our brothers and sisters in Christ to recognize those who are homeless as our brothers and sisters in Christ who need our help. Help us to help them and unharden our hearts towards those who are suffering so that we can ensure to help them. Lord, I pray for those who are missing uh, from their homes, those who have either run away or through mental illness or forgotten where they live or other circumstances that have caused them to go missing or be far from home. Lord, bring those people home safe and sound into your loving arms and the loving arms of their family. Lord, all this we pray for together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving the prayer screen. Very peaceful. Thank you. Um, I got two, two uh, screens put together for my stream. Obviously, one is the screen you see during my regular gameplay with, like, the bee flying and a little bit of honey uh, flying through and all that. Uh, but also, I wanted to get one for the prayer time because the prayer time is the most important time for me, so I wanted something special there. I appreciate everyone not using the text-to-speech and all that during prayer time as well. I appreciate everyone keeping it, uh, you know, respectful and all that. I, I truly appreciate that as well. I know that, um, it's one of those weird things, because I know that there are some people like, oh, Christians are so persecuted and hated, and I don't want to be one of those people who's, who's like, oh, that, but I also know it's not, um, not the most popular thing in the world. So uh, I'm always afraid that at some point there will be either a hate raid or, you know, people who want to come in and discuss how much they they dislike my prayer time. And, uh, you know, I just, I like to be a peaceful thing that we do because we, we believe, right? I don't want to turn into a fight. I don't want to turn into hatred or anything like that. So I appreciate the respect during it as well. Uh, Edgar, good luck on my level. Thank you. It looks like I will need that luck. <laughs> Ooh, 
ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that is not good. Um, too much momentum. Too much momentum. <laughs> Up and over. Grab the mushroom. We can do this. We can do this. We got... We got nine minutes to beat this level as the absolute longest I could take because I got to go to work at seven o'clock. So we've got nine minutes to try and beat this level. Can we do it? We are about to find out. Grab that. Jump over here. Up, 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 up. Grab the 30 coin. We'll lose the firepower, but we'll get a checkpoint, so I'll take it. That's a good trade-off in my book. Up we go. Okay. Is this the first non-puzzle level you've got in the stream, Curious? Uh, no, I got a, a couple other non-puzzle levels, I think. Um, I think one or two. I'm not religious, but I don't get why people bash other people's beliefs. I only do that to my mom. <laughs> Alright, so there's some potaboos we gotta be careful of. Um... Oh, there's no floor. <laughs> I, I thought there was a floor. There is no floor there, guys. There is no floor. Um, you know, I... I understand it to a small degree. I understand that, like, and Christians have this problem very much, too, where it's like, they truly believe so much in what they believe, that they, they believe that they're trying to help other people. I talked a little bit about this yesterday, but it never hurts to talk about, you know, if, if as a Christian, you truly believe what you believe, and I say that because there are a lot of Christians who don't believe what they believe, you know, they're just Christian because they're Christian, not because they actually believe it, but it's just like the default, oh, well, my mom was Christian, so I'm Christian. I've never actually put any thought into it. I don't actually read the Bible. I don't actually believe in it. I'm just, you know, Christian. But if you truly believe what you believe, you truly believe that there is an objective moral truth to the universe, you truly believe there is one God who has these rules and a way to live your life and all that, if you truly believe in all of that, then it makes sense that you don't necessarily tolerate other people's beliefs. Not because you're a hateful person, but because if you truly believe that you have the secret to the universe, and you have the understanding that's going to save people's lives and bring them eternal happiness and joy, then why wouldn't you share that? Why would you be tolerant of other people's beliefs if you truly believe that there is one way to live your life, and if those people don't live their life like that, then they're going to eternally suffer then it would be hateful. It would be hateful to say, you know what? I know what's good for you, and I know the truth of the universe, but I'm not going to share that with you because I want to tolerate your belief. Like, I understand it to that degree that you're trying to be a loving, good neighbor, and you're trying to bring them to heaven and give them eternal life and happiness. But something important that people forget is that you also have to share that with love and kindness. You, you're not going to win anyone over through being rude or, you know, hating other people's beliefs, right? So I understand to a degree an intolerance of other beliefs out of understanding that you, you believe that you have the truth of the universe and that you're trying to save people's lives. But there is a way to do that. And I think that's the thing a lot of people forget is that there is, there needs to be the love and compassion in your, uh, tone and life as well you can't just go around hating other people's beliefs and expect them to uh you know be on board with it you know uh golden eagle change the toad and you're a buddhist um i was actually a buddhist for a little while so i'm glad to see another buddhist um on my journey to trying to understand the world and find religion i tried every religion i could think of to see which one was right for me and in that uh, search for trying to find the truth, I tried Buddhism to see, is Buddhism the right one for me? And, <coughs> excuse me, um, it was not. Um, I don't find anything wrong with Buddhism. It just did, from what I learned, I, I did it for about a month. You know, I tried to study it. I tried to learn it. I tried to do 
as much as I could to be involved in it, but it um, it didn't vibe with me. It, it wasn't the right one for me. It wasn't the truth for me. Uh, I also tried Satanism. I, I talk a lot about that because I know that there's there's a lot of stigma around that. Um, I, I tried everything I could think of to try and find the truth to the universe, and it led me to Catholicism, and that's where where I have found the truth and happiness. But you know, I'm, I I understand that it's a, it's a journey, it's a road, it takes a lot of a lot of time, a very a lot of searching, a lot of everything. So it, it's a journey everyone's on their entire life to try and understand the world and find the truth of the world. So I, I don't think, I don't necessarily know there's any one right answer for everyone, you know, because everyone's going to be on a different journey of trying to understand the world. Now, as a Catholic, you know, obviously I hope that that journey leads them to Catholicism because I do believe that is the truth of the universe. But I also understand that me saying that doesn't necessarily help anyone to understand the universe, you know? Buddhism is very uncommon where you live. I imagine for a lot of parts of America that's probably true. If you live in the United States, I'm guessing that's probably pretty true across the board. I know that it's not uh, as popular here as it may be in other countries. Alright, are we at the end? Did we beat the level? We beat the level! Just in time! Just in time. You're in the UK? Wow. A couple hours ahead of me. I like it. Larry's Lava Level. Alright. <clears throat> I know there's still some levels in queue, but I am running out of time. I gotta go to work in three minutes, so I need to go boot up my computer, get some coffee, and get things ready. I'm sorry I didn't get to everyone's level. I still have them in queue. I'm not gonna clear up the queue. I will either do something later to play these levels and post it so you guys can see it, or I will save it for tomorrow's stream, and we'll do some more tomorrow to ensure that I get to your levels. I did not anticipate as many people coming in and getting levels as we did, and, and all the, the wonderful people who joined us today and talked with us. Again, I truly appreciate everyone hanging out with me. Uh, for everyone new, excuse me, there is a link in the About Me section if you want to hang out in the Discord. There is a Discord where you can join us and chat outside of... Uh, the games outside of Twitch. There's a link to my TikTok. There's a link to the YouTube to catch up on the old series. There's a place for you to uh, put Mario Maker levels if you have other levels you want me to play. So, again, thank you everyone for joining me. Thank you for the wonderful day. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to hang out, join the Discord. Uh, and everyone have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning, same time, same place.